how do I go from recording or broadcasting like this to actually sharing my screen in Ecamm? It's actually very straightforward and you've got a lot of options available to you. Uh, where along the top here, these main controls, we saw this when we had a look around Ecamm. The first one is the camera, which is what we're on now. The second one across here says share screen. So all I do is click on this and um, at the minute it'll say by default, it'll go to current application. I think this is quite like in Zoom where it's kind of going between the active user. That's really what the idea of this is. And so current application, at the minute, the only thing I've got available or open here is Chrome that's playing away. So I'm gonna take this off. I can choose entire screen and it will see my whole desktop. Do note that it won't show your Ecamm window because otherwise it would do this weird looping thing. Um, so current application, or I can choose Ecamm Live and I can choose one of the areas of Ecamm, or I'm gonna choose Google Chrome, okay? so. Notice again that it's on here. I've got several options. This little tab will move around. In fact, I'll bring it into this darker area. I have two options on the left of it. This is the picture in picture, which we're looking at in the next video. And then this one here says, uh, there's a little tick on there that says zoom to app window. So at the minute, I can't move that around because it's locked. It's given it a little border at the top and bottom. And um, it, yeah, it's held it in place. I typically untick that. So it's now not zoomed to that window. And what I can do, notice again, you've got this little plus and minus symbol on here. As I hit the plus, it makes that window grow. And once I uh, start enlarging it, I can now right click. So if I'm on something like a magic mouse or a normal mouse where you have a right click, you can do that. Right click, hold it down, drag it into position over here. If you're on a trackpad, you can actually resize it by just pinching and zooming. And then with two fingers down, you can move it across. But the reason I do that is I can now, sometimes I want to keep the whole thing like this. And I want it to have a bit of border and a frame around it. Other times, maybe I only want to see part of that window. And so what this is allowing me to do is to zoom in on one area of the window. Really good. Okay, so this is how you're sharing your screen. And this could be doing the same thing if you were bringing in a presentation. If you'd got Keynote open down here, you could be showing it that way. Although we'll show you in another video a better way to do that. This is typically more you sharing your uh, desktop, as in this case, a browser, and just letting people have a look at it. But uh, don't be just locked into this, stuck on here and be thinking, oh, but I wanted to zoom in a little bit over there. You can zoom in and uh, move this thing around and uh, really useful. And as I say, it, you can just, all I'm doing on here is wiping up and down on my mouse and it's going in and out. Uh, and then with a right click, I hold it and I can reposition this how I want. Have a go at that, tick it off. Let me know how you get on with it.